Sentencing update on one of the victims of the Sandy shooting. Tonight we've learned 11-year-old Miles Rackley's condition has been upgraded. A family spokesman said in a statement that Miles is getting stronger and is talking as he continues to improve. His younger brother Jace was killed along with his mom, Memory Rackley, three days after she reported her ex-boyfriend Jeremy Patterson had been relentlessly stalking her. And tonight we're hearing the 911 calls that are giving more insight into what led up to that shooting. News specialist Andrew Adams reports. 911, what is the address of the emergency? Raw. Dire. Yes, we've got a shooting in front of my house. And jarring. And then he got out of his car and started shooting into the car. Their 911 calls. Is a shooter shooting okay. children in the street. Placed as a mom and six-year-old were being shot to death. I can't hear you, but they've got to get this little girl to go to the she hospital. Two other children left for dead as the gunman took his own life. He shot himself. He's lying there. This has got to be the most tragic incident that I've ever responded to or had to deal with. Tragic also because of what police say preceded the shooting. And he followed me with my son in my car for an hour around Sandy. Memory Rackley. And um, he, it, it's just continual. He won't stop. Worried and on the phone with dispatch over a relationship gone bad. And it's getting to the point where he's threatened me. He's threatened the safety of my children. Rackley told dispatchers that Jeremy Patterson had guns and expressed fears about cops confronting him. He's going to come hunt me and my kids down. And by the next morning, she wanted officers to talk to him. His response was very cordial. Uh, basically saying that he was worried about her because she wasn't responding to any of the text messages and that he would no longer text her or call her. Two days later, this scene, witnesses saw the two arguing prior to the shots. You never know uh, when something like this is, is going to happen. Police say they deal with calls like these every day. We're going to give them whatever options we can or what's available to them. In Memory's case, we're going to do everything we can to help you. The help didn't save her. Hindsight's 2020. Jarring reality that unfolded on a city street. We've got multiple right. callers on this. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Andrew Adams reporting. Police say the best thing to do in these situations is to get them involved. They say they take every call seriously and do what they can to hopefully avoid a bad outcome. Deanie.